welcome to a new episode of Review. Today we will take a closer look at a Fokker 100 in the colors of Contact Air. As always we start off with the box and here we can see on the front side we have a very nice image of the aircraft and we have the Contact Air branding. On the back side we then have the same image once more, the original dimensions and some additional information. And we can also see that it is a limited extra edition. Now let's take a closer look at the aircraft model inside. And here she is, the Fokker 100 from Contact Air. Now let me give you a little input about this airline and why this aircraft actually is very interesting. Now let's start off with the airline itself. Contact Air was a regional carrier in Germany. In April 1996, Contact Air became a founding member of Team Lufthansa, which was a collection of many smaller regional airlines which were operating on regional routes for Lufthansa. In 2004, this airline association was reorganized as Lufthansa Regional, a Star Alliance affiliate. Henceforth, all Contact Air flights were operating using the Lufthansa branding and flight numbers. Now, Contact Air was operating up to eight Fokker 100. Six of them were operating in Lufthansa regional colors, and two of them were based in Zurich Airport, where they were operating for Swiss International Airlines. So if you take a quick look at the tail section of the aircraft, we can see here in the vertical stabilizer, we have the Starlines branding. And on the fuselage, we have the full registration code and the German flag. If we then move from the back of the aircraft all the way to the front of the aircraft, we can see along the fuselage the writing of Star Alliance. And then underneath that, we have some text. And that is basically revealing how this aircraft was used and why it was flying in the Star Alliance livery. Now, on this text, it says, On behalf of Star Alliance member carriers, Lufthansa and Swiss International Airlines. Now, this aircraft was most likely one of the two aircraft that was stationed in Zurich, mostly operating for Swiss International Airlines. But given the Star Alliance livery, it could easily be integrated into the Lufthansa regional network when needed. Now, something similar is actually happening today, where a few DHC-8Q400s of Austrian Airlines have been given the Star Alliance livery and are flying for Swiss International Airlines out of Zurich. Now, enough about the history of the aircraft. Let's continue with uh, taking a look at the details that it has to offer. The cockpit windows aren't that great. I mean, they are there, but there aren't that many details. The window wipers, however, have been added. The engines are also quite bare-boned. In fact, if we were looking into them, we would see that there are no details whatsoever. The wings, however, do look quite nice here on the top side. The underside could be more detailed. And then we do, of course, also have the doors to the cargo compartment here in the back side of the aircraft and here in the front side. And then it is also worth mentioning that this aircraft is coming with a piece of cardboard with an apron position printed on. The aircraft model could definitely be more detailed, but considering that it is a relatively early new generation release of Happer Wings, it is actually quite all right. It has definitely the level of detailing that was normal for Happer Wings at the time of release. What makes this aircraft so interesting to me is definitely the history behind it. In many ways, it shows a long gone chapter of aviation history. But then again, it does have some fascinating parallels to what is happening today. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, that would be very nice. Or if you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. Of course, don't forget that we are uploading not just on Wednesdays, but also every Sunday in the Christmas period. The next episode of review will be about the Boeing 757-200F from UPS Airlines. Now until then, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.